Good morning. <sighs> when you're 63, you look just like a tree. A bunch of the branches just snapped off. He went pow, pow, pow. Ugh. Well, it's amazing. I mean, it, when when I was growing up, if a person was 63, they were pretty freaking old, really. I think with with exercise and people not working themselves to a uh, you know, working themselves to death, doing doing jobs that are really hard on your body physically. I think you can, you know, I feel pretty good. I do. Thank God. I feel pretty good. When you're 64... You look just like a door. Oh, man. Oh. Well, I don't know what's going to happen today. Oh. I think I'm going to buy a bucket of ice cream. Yeah. And celebrate. Oh, my, my little granddaughter. She just turned seven. And, uh... It's hard to tell a joke if just with the one person. He's knock knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. And then he go interrupting cow who? But before you get interrupting cow who out, then the person that starts the joke goes moo. Knock knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting cow moo. Interrupting cow who moo. Uh, that was a good joke. Oh, man. There was this, uh, there was this guy I used to, to watch on TV. I would go down to some of the, to hear him talk also some Sundays. His name is, uh, he's dead now, Dr. Gene Scott. He was the sharpest guy I ever heard talk about the Bible. It was unbelievable. He was, uh, he had a PhD from Stanford in education, or some sort of education thing. He was really an intellectual person. He was, he was great. He, oh, he's too much to talk about. If you want to do some research, Dr. Gene Scott. But he, uh, the church, where he uh, he he was on the he was on television. He had these television stations that he was on, and uh, he had uh, uh, radio stations and stuff like that. He would have really done well. It, it's too bad that the internet wasn't around very much when he was when he was alive. They should have all of his things up on the web. I don't think they do. But he was a, a very interesting person, and he he would. Uh, the reason I'm talking about him is that he, on his birthday he would always go for a bike ride, one mile for every year. And um, he was a very very interesting person. He was a big collector. He had uh, and he the where he had his church services, they owned this building. It was downtown Los Angeles. It was a, uh, it was a movie theater that was built by a couple of old-time movie stars. Big building, huge. Like, like I don't know how many stories, but big one. With the the movie theater was the was the was the church part. I guess it was all the church part. And then downstairs in the basement, he had stuff. He had collectible stuff. He had all kinds of 
Bibles from freaking way back. He had a, a page out of the Gutenberg Bible. Of literally a page out of that. Uh, he had a magnificent collection of things. But he would go for a bike ride every every day every, when his birthday came around. He would go for a bike ride one mile for every year. I think it was seventies, early seventies. He died fairly. You know, he had he had cancer. It was a very very fascinating person. So, I was going to say I can hold my breath for every year, but I don't think I can hold my breath for 63 seconds. <gasps> no, I don't think I can do that. What could I do 63 times? Sixty-three bottles of beer on the wall. Sixty-three bottles of beer. You take it down. You pass it around. Sixty-three bottles of beer on the wall. Unless you've experienced that on a on a trip with a bunch of young guys and a, going somewhere. I remember we were going somewhere on a on a uh, on a trip. And it was, I think we were going, I think it was a track meet or something we were going to. And, and uh, we we're on the, on the bus going, going there. And, and uh, so we're, the bus is higher and we're on the freeway or wherever we're going to someplace. Like, I think we're going to El Paso or Las Cruces or someplace. I can't remember. And then, and then the, some guy would, would, would be on the bus and he would, he would yell out, Pierna! And then the whole bus was just, you run to the other side to look out and see what's going on. Pierna is legs in Spanish. See you later.